Hello, everyone. I'm Sam Sulinga. I'm a customer engineer at Google, so I help customers with adopting Google Cloud, and I specifically focus on Kubernetes and related technologies. So today I will be talking about a use case from a customer that is using functions and Lambda to integrate pubs up together with SNS. So what we get is a two-way bridge. So any message published to pubs up also gets to SNS and vice versa as well. It's a really simplistic use case. I will be at lightning speed to go through this. Um, the source is also available on GitHub. So why would you want to do this? I mean, it's always the first question to ask. You might have started with a specific cloud provider. You might have started with Google Cloud or AWS. And you started using PubSub. Now, PubSub integrates with lots of native services in Google Cloud and makes it really easy to use these services. For example, if you use Cloud Run, you can use PubSub as a trigger to run a cloud function. You can configure uh, Google Cloud Storage to send events to PubSub, but you cannot send it to send events to SNS. But maybe you want to catch this event in your AWS cloud as well. So there's really the use case behind it. It comes from a actual customer that I work with. Um, I will quickly show how, how it is done from the architecture side. I, I don't think it, it shouldn't be considered an architecture <laughs> in this point. But you have an incoming message to PubSub. It triggers a cloud function. That cloud function just duplicates the messages, sends this to SNS, so an SNS applica an application that's subscribed to SNS can also receive it. And then the other direction is the same. You get a message incoming to SNS, a Lambda function gets triggered, and that, that function just duplicates exactly the same message to pops up. You guys want to see it in action? Yeah, ready for that? <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is really exciting. I have a uh, front end that, will sh that is subscribed to both PubSub and SNS. I'm going to upload, upload a doc image to Google Cloud Storage. I have Google Cloud Storage configured to send messages to PubSub. Like if you f upload a file, it will trigger a message that goes to a PubSub topic. Then. The front end will get this message, it will parse the URL, and it will display the image that's being uploaded to uh, Google Cloud Storage. And vice versa, I'm going to do the same thing for AWS. And we can also go into code if you guys are interested. Um, let me show the demo. Let's see. It's a live demo. It worked last Friday. Um, the front end is running on Cloud Run, so it's running on Knative. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's, it's pretty simple. It's written in Python. So I have a bucket here configured to do uh, messages sending to PubSub, specific to PubSub topic called multi-cloud messaging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the doc image that I just downloaded. <laughs> Where did it go? It <laughs> okay. Oh my. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> this is on my laptop. We had some technical issues, so. Um, I'm happy I could borrow yours, Doc. Really, really grateful. Uh, yeah, so as soon as I click Upload, I'm going back to my front end, which is here. I have to be quick. And then it's, you saw it was really quick. It first, you first saw it in PubSub, and then slightly afterwards you saw it in SNS. There's a JavaScript function that triggers every 300 milliseconds from the um, messages that are local to the Cloud Run instance. All right, next part. We are going to upload a cat image <laughs> to AWS, S3. There we go, downloads, cat. Quickly, quickly, we can, oh. all right. Though, though, honestly, I think it's interesting. This one, oh wait, I, I, that's, that's right, S3 works differently, it's not like that. You actually got to go next. And I, I make it public because my front end um, just reads it public and displays images directly. Next, next, upload, right, quickly. <laughs> uh, any questions before I go into code? I know it's the last after the last session. I think it was quick. I think I, I, I did I did good in the timing. Yeah, there you go. 
So funny thing, I prepared cat images and dog images before, but because I just had the laptop, I quickly had to scramble to get cat and dog images from the first Google result that showed up, so I don't know who these cats are, so yeah. <laughs> Was there some, no? Any other questions? Are you using cloud events? Cloud. <laughs> Don't say what are cloud events. <laughs> <laughs> Am I using cloud events? Um, I don't, well, cl I'm using cloud room, but I don't think I'm using cloud events. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not the focus of today's talk for me. <laughs> I've heard about them, but yeah. <laughs> cool, all right. Thank you, everyone.